Seoul has been experiencing extremely hot weather lately, causing people to head to the Han River to avoid the heat. But with prevention measures in place, things look a li little bit different this year. Han Sung-ho sheds light on the changes. Seoulites are heading to the Han River to escape from the extreme summer heat. For the past few days, the city's been experiencing so-called tropical nights, where the mercury stays above 25 degrees Celsius throughout the night. The atmosphere is not like summer's past, though, with strict distancing guidelines in place. The last time I visited was before the pandemic, so the park was full of people. It feels strange now that it's much less crowded. I can tell how serious the situation is. It's hard to find groups of three or more in the evening now that Seoul and the surrounding area has come under level four of South Korea's new four-tier social distancing scheme. With the ban on private gatherings of two or more people after 6 p.m., officials say there's far fewer people relaxing along the river this summer. Other restrictions include mandatory mask wearing and a ban on setting up tents for shade. But the biggest prevention measure would have to be the capital's ban on drinking alcohol along the Han River late at night. This came into effect last Wednesday and applies from 10 p.m. to 5 in the morning. Violators risk being fined up to 100,001. That's about 87 U.S. dollars. And civil servants who began intensively regulating the Riverside Parks last Saturday have already seen several violations. First, we give them a warning, and if they don't comply, we work with the police to impose fines. The executive order aims to stop people from flocking to the Han River to drink more after restaurants close. Authorities say these strict measures are necessary for a return to pre-pandemic life as soon as possible. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.